Hello, this is Mary Demuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. We are continuing our journey through the We Two um, scriptures, and um, just really grateful for your feedback, and hope hope that um, this September 1st is a really great day for you. Um, so today's verse comes from Ephesians 5, 6-14. And this continues to be in the HCSB version of the Bible. Um, We'll jump to the uh, new Revised Standard Version when we begin our new book. And uh, that will happen later in the month. And I will let you know when that's coming. Today's verse um, says this, Let no one deceive you with empty arguments, for God's wrath is coming on the disobedient because of these things. Therefore, do not become their partners. For you were once dark, darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for their fruit, for the fruit of the light results in all goodness, righteousness, and truth, discerning what is pleasing to the Lord. Don't participate in the fruitless deeds and works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to mention what is done by them in secret. Everything is exposed by everything exposed by the light is made clear for what makes everything clear is light therefore it is said get up sleeper and rise from the dead and the messiah will shine on you mind if i pray for you lord i just thank you for the metaphor of light that you use throughout the old and new testament um, particularly in this place in ephesians where paul talks about the darkness and the light and um so today I just want to pray that there would be a resurgence of light. Um, we want to see goodness, righteousness, and truth prevail in our midst. We are tired of the darkness and the hiding and all of the sin that is encompassed in that darkness. Lord, um, I, I'm really grateful for this difficult verse, don't participate in the full, fruitless words of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to mention what is done by them in secret. And Lord, that is my prayer today, that there would be a a grand exposure of um, particularly this issue of of sexual exploitation, sexual abuse, um, sexual harassment going on in the world today. That you would begin to send people into these dark places. I know that uh, there has been a a mighty move of you, Lord, throughout the world to... um, to expose the evil of sex trafficking and i'm so grateful for that i pray that that the body of christ would rise up and bring resources to those folks and that there be more people doing that work Um, i pray for law enforcement who are trying to and the lawyers who are trying to prosecute those who have harmed people Um, and lord i pray that you give them tenacity to continue to do that Lord, we don't want pedophiles on our streets. We want to see um, children safe and protected. And within our church structures, Lord, if there are folks like this harming, especially our children in our midst, Lord, would you be so kind as to expose them and send people who are not afraid to confront darkness and are not afraid to bring this to the light, to actually bring it to the light. And I pray for a receptive leadership. So often when these accusations are brought forward it's handled so poorly and so lord um, may this be a new way and a new day and a new um a new avenue of how to do things that uh, church leaders would be more interested in supporting the victim than in believing uh, those who have perpetrated um lord also help us not to uh allow those folks who are perpetrating against children to move to new contexts and just feel like, well, it's, I've washed my hands of it. It's out of my congregation. Someone else can deal with it. That's not a very high view, Lord, of the body of Christ because it's still harming the body of Christ. Uh, it's only protecting your own institution. So Lord, I pray for brave leaders who will um, dare to speak up. And I pray for protection for our churches and for our institutions that um, those who are predatory would be found out. I pray you give us better and deeper discernment about who are wolves. And um, Lord, I know that false accusation happens. I also know it's excessively rare, but um, I thank you that there are places um, in investigations that can help clear that out. 
Lord, help us to err on the side of the vulnerable who expose something like this. Um, thank you, Lord, that uh, you have you've given um, you have given us this insight and this wisdom. Thank you for those who are sounding the alarm and help us to speak up if the time comes. We love you and we praise you for the fact that you absolutely welcomed children on your lap and you loved them so well and you. Um, you talked about millstones when it came to people who hurt children. So Lord, help us to have that same passion as you. I pray this in Jesus name. Amen. Thanks so much for listening to pray every day. Uh, so thankful for you and thankful for all of, um, your will, just your willingness to listen. If you have never listened to this podcast before, um, the format is I read a scripture and then I pray according to that scripture. And uh, this podcast has gone all over the world and I'm really, 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 really grateful for that. So anyway, I hope you're having a great day and um, be blessed, my friend.